Tezos is a decentralized, open source, and self amending platform that supports smart contracts, governance, and staking. Its primary aim is to create a digital commonwealth where users can elaborate and decide on the future of the network. Despite having one of the oldest white papers on the market, Tezos doesn't seem to get as much press attention as some of its counterparts, like Ethereum. This might be largely due to the crypto community being unaware of just how interesting the offer and use cases of Tezos are. In today's video, we'll do a deep dive of Tezos, covering all the important information on this project, from its origins and offerings to its XTZ token and other useful information. So if you're interested in learning how this project works, or curious to know if the XTZ token will make a good addition to your portfolio, then be sure to watch this video to the end to get all the necessary information you'll need. Without further ado, let's get started. Tezos was founded by husband and wife team Arthur and Kathleen Breitman, who wrote the white paper under the pseudonym L.M. Goodman in 2014. The Breitmans envisioned Tezos as a self-amending ledger that can incorporate new technologies and features without requiring hard forks or splits in the network. They also wanted to create a platform that could support secure and verifiable smart contracts that could power various applications and use cases. To make their vision a reality, the Breitmans launched an ICO for Tezos in July 2017, which raised a whopping $232 million from thousands of investors. This was one of the largest ICOs at the time and attracted a lot of attention and hype from the crypto community. However, it also came with a lot of challenges and controversies, such as legal disputes between the Breitmans and the then president of the Tezos Foundation, Johan Gevers, over the control of the funds raised in the ICO. There were also delays in delivering the promised tokens to the investors, as well as governance issues among the stakeholders. Despite these difficulties, Tezos finally launched its main net in September 2018, after undergoing several testing phases and audits. Since then, Tezos has been growing steadily and gaining traction among developers, users, and investors. Tezos has also been able to successfully implement several protocol upgrades through its on-chain governance system, which we will talk more about later. So. How does Tezos work? And what makes it different from other blockchain platforms? Let's take a look at some of the key aspects of Tezos' technology. One of the main features of Tezos is its smart contract language, called Mitchelson. Mitchelson is a low-level language that is designed to facilitate the formal verification of smart contracts. Formal verification, according to Tezos, is a process that uses mathematical logic to prove that a smart contract behaves as intended and does not contain any errors or vulnerabilities. This is very important for ensuring the correctness and security of smart contracts, especially when they involve high-value transactions or sensitive data. Mitchelson is also interoperable with other languages, such as SmartPy, LIGO, Liquidity, or Archetype, which are higher-level languages that compile into Mitchelson. These languages offer more user-friendly syntaxes and features that make it easier for developers to write smart contracts on Tezos. Another interesting feature of Tezos is its consensus mechanism, called Liquid Proof of Stake, or LPOS, a variation of Proof of Stake. LPOS is a specific version of POS that Tezos uses, which introduces the concept of delegation. Delegation allows users to delegate their staking rights to other nodes, called bakers, who create and validate blocks on their behalf. Bakers share a portion of their rewards with their delegators while keeping a small fee for themselves. Delegation allows users to earn passive income from their tokens without having to run a node themselves, which could be a lucrative venture if you're interested in such. It also increases the security and decentralization of the network, as it encourages more participation and diversity among the nodes. Tezos currently has exactly 494 bakers, who collectively stake over 80% of the total supply of XTZ. That makes XTZ one of the highest stake tokens by percent of total supply of all crypto projects. The third and perhaps most distinctive feature of Tezos is its on-chain governance system, which allows users to participate in the evolution of the platform. On-chain governance might be a common practice in the industry right now, but it definitely wasn't when Tezos introduced it as its preferred method of protocol management. Tezos was basically the progenitor of on-chain governance as we know it today. Now, Tezos has a built-in mechanism that allows users to propose, vote on, and implement protocol amendments through a democratic and transparent process. This process consists of five phases. They are 
1. The Proposal Period This involves bakers submitting proposals on chain. Proposals can include code changes, parameter adjustments, or new features. 2. The Exploration Vote Period This is a stage where bakers can vote on the top-ranked proposals from the proposal period using a ballot system. If voting participation meets the set quota and the proposal receives at least 80% of the votes in favor, it moves to the testing period. 3. The Testing Period This is when the proposal is deployed on a testnet, where it undergoes rigorous testing and evaluation for 48 hours. 4. The Promotion Vote Period this is the stage where bakers vote again on whether to activate or reject their proposal on the main net after having observed its performance on the test net. 5. The Adoption Period At this stage, the proposal becomes part of the protocol and takes effect once adoption and infrastructure updates by all bakers and developers are completed. Each of these periods lasts for 5 baking cycles, which is 40,960 blocks, or roughly 14 days and 5 hours. This means that the entire governance process takes roughly 2 months and 10 days to complete from start to finish. Also, any failure to proceed to the next period automatically reverts the proposal period. This means that breaking down the flow of governance at any point restarts the entire process. The on-chain governance system of Tezos has several benefits and challenges. On one hand, it allows Tezos to innovate and improve itself without relying on external parties or intermediaries. It also fosters collaboration and coordination among the stakeholders, who can express their opinions and preferences through voting. It also reduces the risk of network splits or forks, as users can agree on a common vision and direction for Tezos. On the other hand, the on-chain governance system also poses some potential problems, such as low voter turnout, voter apathy, voter ignorance, voter manipulation, or voter collusion. These problems can undermine the legitimacy and effectiveness of the governance process and lead to suboptimal or harmful outcomes for Tezos. As such, it is important for Tezos users to be informed and engaged in the governance process and to exercise their voting rights responsibly and wisely. So far, we have covered some of the technical aspects of Tezos, but what are some of the practical applications and use cases that are built on Tezos? Let's take a look at some of them. One of the main use cases that Tezos supports is decentralized finance, or DeFi, which is a term that refers to financial services that are powered by blockchain technology and smart contracts. Tezos offers several advantages for DeFi developers and users, such as low fees, high security, easy upgradability, and user governance. Some of the popular DeFi platforms and protocols built on Tezos include Calibri, Calumet, QuipuSwap, and Wrap Protocol. Another use case that Tezos supports is, of course, decentralized applications, or dApps, which are applications that run on a distributed network and use smart contracts to execute their logic. dApps can offer various services and functions, such as social media, gaming, e-commerce, education, healthcare, and more. Tezos offers several advantages for dApp developers and users, such as scalability, interoperability, privacy, and user experience. Some popular dApps on Tezos include Hick et Nunk, Crunchy, and FX Hash. Besides DeFi and dApps, Tezos also supports other use cases and domains, such as NFTs, gaming, education, charity, and sustainability. Tezos has also established strong partnerships and collaborations with various organizations and institutions from different sectors and industries, such as Ubisoft, Red Bull Racing Honda, Formula One, EDF Group, Societe Generale Forge, and Dalma Capital. These partnerships and collaborations demonstrate the potential and versatility of Tezos as a blockchain platform that can cater to the various needs and demands of different markets and audiences. Now that we have covered some of the use cases and applications of Tezos, let's take a quick look at XDZ, the native token of Tezos. XDZ is the fuel that powers the Tezos network. It is the lifeblood of the network. It is used for paying fees for transactions and smart contract execution. It is also used for staking and governance. As we have seen earlier, XDZ holders can stake their tokens to become bakers or delegators and earn rewards for securing and maintaining the network. They can also vote on protocol upgrades and influence the direction of Tezos. XDZ has a supply of about 976 million tokens, with 955 million tokens in circulation and no hard cap on the total supply. This makes XDZ an inflationary crypto asset, 
That said, as of the time of this video, the current annual inflation rate of XTZ is approximately 5.51%. Tezos and its XTZ token is definitely one to keep an eye on, especially considering the utility it offers. Once rated in the top 10 crypto rankings, XTZ now sits around the 54th spot, but still has the potential to return to its glory days when the next bull cycle returns. That's all for today's video. If you found our video informative, then please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get updates on all our future videos. Also, let us know what project you would like us to cover next in the comments below.